Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode on the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Map by Mapper's Paradise. Last time we started in on these two cornfields closest to the house. And uh, we finished the closest one here and we're about halfway done with the far field there. I'm actually going to jump in the truck here. We got a little bit of diesel in the... Uh, Thunder Creek trailer here. No, I'm not gonna attempt to embarrass myself with the sound effects. But uh, I think one of the combines is running pretty low on diesel right now. So we're gonna drag this out here with us. Um, I've got one of the combines just got full here. And I'd, uh, at the end of the last episode, I drove the other one out and hit start and then decided to wait until uh, we started the episode to. Uh, really get him going just so that you guys could see what I'm trying to do here And so I think what I'm gonna do is stop this guy I'm gonna back him up just a little bit so he's out of the way for turning around and then if we need diesel We've got the truck out here. I Did unload the green cart into the back of the semi um, Which is still mostly empty so we'll um, Finish topping him off at some point here but let's get this combine over here unloading and while he's unloading we'll jump over and get the other one started so when i set up course play in this uh field here i only set it up to have one work tool or one tool one vehicle uh on the course but now we want to put a second tool in there and so you can pull that off fairly easily by just uh, doing what I did here which is let me jump over here I I just went further down into the course and I'll show you how I did that by bringing up the course play course here you can see all these lines represent where the vehicle is going to drive and so I just said well that guy's gonna do this first half of the field and so I'm gonna start this guy off here and let him, you know, take this part and the long part down behind. So um, it looked like about half to me. And so let me see if I can turn that back off because it does cause a little bit of lag. And we're going to go ahead and let him keep going here. And then we'll have a easier time running back and forth than trying to unload him. So this guy seems good to go. And so I'm just gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna run him down there to unload that other combine in a moment here, but I think I'm actually going to uh, bring this semi truck. Uh, no, actually I like where that semi is. It's not uh, so far out of the way. I'll just unload over there. I don't know why my, oh, I know why my unload key is uh, turning off my UI because I have flight mode still turned on and flight mode the O key yep um, turns off your HUD one of the downsides of using so many different mods is sometimes you've got more than one mod that's doing the same thing it's a little bit confusing So we're wrapping up here on this harvest really quickly. I'm actually kind of like um, excited and sad, uh, even though we're going to keep playing uh, on the same map and really the kind of the same setup, right? We're going to do it over the course of winter. So, you know, from an episode perspective, it shouldn't be um, a huge change uh, from the farm we've been running here. But anytime you uh, have to start a new save, and uh, uh, kind of get back going on things. There's going to be some small changes. And so um, this has been a super fun series so far. And I'm kind of excited to keep it going. Uh, you know, we are 30, I don't know what this is, episode 37, 38 maybe, uh, into this series. So, um, you know, we're obviously invested in this map. It's I, I'm loving the terrain on this map. Um, yeah, it's had some issues, but... Honestly, it's just been a really fun experience. Um, nice to do uh, kind of a smaller to mid... I, it's it's a, small, a normal size map. I call it almost like a mid-sized map because it's got 
um, some pretty big fields on it still. Um, so it's, it's a nice mix of uh, small to medium sized fields. And we're going to just let him go and do his thing. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's whip around this way and go back and catch up with the other combine one more time. I don't know what he's doing. Kind of curious to see how much easier it's going to be to keep up with them now that uh, they're doing these short rows. So they spend a lot more time turning around than they were before. So, And they're in the same field, so I don't have to keep uh, driving across different fields. I'm curious, since they're on the same course play track, how weird course play would get if I tried to set up a grain cart unload course. We're going to try it. We really want to know. So let's unload this guy first, and then I'm going to set up an unload course and see if he freaks out because they're technically both on the same course play track. Well, that's my MO, always trying to break the game. Oh, we're getting off course. It's, all, it, like, it's always deceptive. Like I don't know how close I am to the semi when I'm looking at it from here. Semi, the combine. Man, my brain is... Uh, not fully functional tonight. Emptying. Emptying. Oh, he's going to wait at the end row. Alright, you're good to go, bud. That's enough. So what we'll do is I'm going to come down here and we're going to make the unload course right down here along the road because we'll be coming in from that side so if we have the enter point like right here overload course start course recording we'll have it come this way just a smidge parking symbol and then have you come back out like so and wait. Combines. Both of these look good. Drive course. Do your thing, bud. And then we're going to get this uh, combine. Or combine. I can see I called the combine a semi and I'm calling the semi a combine. We are on top of our game here, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to whip you around nice and fast here. And I have no idea where that course is, so we're just going to... Whoa! Have some really weird physics. So we're just going to park you right here for the time being until we can figure out what's going on. I'm going to come up here. He's not yet full enough to call for a combine. I don't know where he's going. Uh, but we're just going to, by fill level, uh, look at his settings. Um, one of these has his when he wants to get emptied, I thought. Maybe that's on the grain cart. He's about to get to 50%, which is when I usually have this set up. So that's why I want to... It's not there. Oh my goodness. You would think with how much I use this mod, there it is, that I would know where to find the settings. Alright, so we're going to jump back over into this combine. I know I'm just clicking around. Terribly interesting. Um, if we're figuring things out. This is, it's for science. Um, this guy's going to get to 50% here in a second. And uh, that should trigger our green cart to come and unload us. Except our auger is pointed in towards the corn. So he's not going to call for an unload until I turn around, I believe. And so... 
Um, he's going to turn around. I need to do one other change here. Um, I need to increase my cruise control and make sure that I set up my speeds appropriately. I did. Now, he's got his stupid auger out, which I did not want. But uh, he does know that this guy's going to need to be unloaded, and he's getting ready to unload him as soon as he uh, turns around, which is pretty cool. He picked up on it as soon as he got to the end row there, which is neat. And so, in theory, he's going to turn in and unload him now. Oh, I'm liking it. So yeah, this overload mode uh, functionality is definitely gotten improved uh, since the very first iteration when I tried it out. So I am super happy to see that this is a thing that we're going to be able to utilize in our bigger fields from now on. I don't know if he's blocking him on purpose or what's going on here, but... He is going to finish unloading him before he lets him turn around. Really want to know what he's doing or if he's just going to wait here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh. Combine's just going to push his way out. Now what I'm curious is, is, is this guy going to call for... A combine. Oh, what is going on over there? Do I even want to know? All right, we're going to go see. I think that the problem with this field is, yep, course play just uh, <laughs> jumped the ditch. He's going to take a, not even the most direct route. I don't know what he's doing, where he's going. We're going to let him, we're going to follow him along. If he hits this only tree here in between us and him, I'm going to be amused not surprised amused you get the course play wiggle as he tries to drive to him so he's got a wiggle 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 where are you going mr combine oh don't do it course play don't do it oh well at least he picked a shallowish spot all right where are you going now You don't even know. What are you doing? Go unload your combine. Let's try to find a way over there. I was like there was a combine up here at the end of the field when I started driving. Where'd he go? All right, you can do this. So note to self: uh, course play grain cart driver on. A uh, field next to Curvy Creek Edge, probably a bad idea. I'm really curious to see how he's going to get back to the truck. Yeah, why are you stopping, bud? Come on. There you go. I also got to remember to leave the pipe down before I start course play so that he's not driving around with it, with it sticking out. He's going to run into somebody with it. So this work, this is working okay. Uh, I think I'm going to take over from him once we uh, finish unloading here, and uh, take him back down to unload. Because if I let him do it on his own, he's just gonna ditch bang over these creek to the other combine, which is not what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and stop driver. This guy should be about empty. There we go. And I think I've got some corn in this front semi anyway. So let's uh, maybe go ahead and top this semi off and send him back up to the green bins and get him out of our way.
I don't think Horseplay is going to handle that tree very well either. It uh, had some lines going right through the middle of it, if I remember the course correctly. Finish this front hopper. Just a smidge left in there. Fill this back one. We'll jump out here and get the semi started up here. We'll let him warm up. Make a quick Yui and send him back to the farm when he's full. There we go. Yeah, I've been super excited with all the mods coming out on the in-game Giants Mod Hub lately. I know a lot of the people who watch the channel are on console and so you should be excited to see the DB60 finally coming out on console by JHG Modding. Uh, I think that that was released in the last few days here. And then uh, also Sid's working on updates to his uh, 8R series. Whoa, what just happened over there? Okay, let's, uh, let's go look into this accident. My apologies, my mod update uh, monologue is uh, getting interrupted. What did you do? What did you do? Um, okay. I don't know what we're going to do here. Let's get this car, the semi moving out of the way first. Oh, goodness. Farm sim drivers, I tell you. You get going. This is a mess. All right, so let's um, let's go unload this combine while we think about how we're gonna fix that truck. And uh, what I was saying before this whole disaster happened is that uh, Sid Modding's also making some updates to some of his mods and bringing them to council as well. It sounded like. Um, the 8RX and and the whole well the whole 8R pack uh, sounded like he was making some changes to that to get that to be more console friendly, um, which is you know just really good news. I'm super excited to see the modding community starting to embrace uh, the console players and the in-game mod hub a little bit more. Although, you know, I know there's still just a lot of struggles with getting stuff listed there for some of the modders. I've seen, you know, kind of stories on both sides of that fence. So, um, hopefully as uh, we continue to progress and get into new versions of Farm Sim, that uh, that's going to get easier. And uh, um, selfishly, because I'm actually getting interested in trying to try my hand at some modding and see what I can put together... Uh, probably not uh, going to be too many um, vehicle type mods because my 3D graphic skills are uh, non-existent. But possibly thinking about trying my hand at uh, making or modifying some maps and stuff like that. And I have a couple of scripting based mod ideas in mind. I did make that... Uh, contract info mod a while back it'd be fun to try and get something like that on the mod hub so we'll definitely play around with some of that here over the coming weeks and months i think and as it relates to this pickup truck which is all tipped over now i'm thinking maybe we bring the skid loader down here and try to get him right sighted that's my guess. And this is why you've got to always be careful on the farm. Accidents can happen. Alright, as soon as he's done unloading here, I am going to actually... <laughs> speaking of accidents can happen, I'm going to let him try and drive back on his own while I go get the skid loader. 
if I can find it. There's the skid loader. And, oops, that's the lights. Start it up. How he's always amused, there's like no motor in here. That is uh, the kind of thing I would do if I was modding. It's such a small detail. You'll never see it. Oh wow, this is extra speedy. This might take a minute. We will check back in with you over at the truck. Alright, so we're coming back up here on our truck. I am not sure this little skid loader is going to have the oomph for it, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, but before we do that, I am going to hop back over here to our grain cart and get this combine unloaded just so I can get rid of the annoying uh, red warning there. If anybody knows how to configure course play to remove the big red um, explanation of what needs to be done uh, on the screen there, I would love to know how to do that. Um, I would be okay with like just a little small icon or something, but uh, these giant red bar in the middle of my screen is uh, a little bit annoying. I can see that the combine is stopped because he's full. I don't need a message, thank you. But hey, maybe that's just me. So I think if I can park him like as far away as possible like this, he's gonna have enough room to turn back in there without me having to do anything. So let's come over here and try and uh, flip our truck back over. And as always, we're going to need a screenshot of these shenanigans. So, let's see. This is where our audio quality is going to get messed up slightly. One moment. We're scooting back so that we can use the side panel. And anytime I move myself into a new position, <laughs> The microphone needs to move with me to maintain audio quality. All right, here we go. We've got fork control. We've got camera control. We don't have engine controls. All right. So I'm thinking maybe we put the forks against the bed like this and lift a little bit as we push. Oh, look at that. Piece of cake. And I didn't think it could do it. You are the champ, little deer skid steer. <laughs> that rhymed way more than I thought it would. Alright, so I'm just going to park him right here then. And we're going to get this truck off of the road before I forget about it. And it gets run over again. And we didn't actually end up needing any of this diesel, so I feel like this whole adventure was kind of a waste. Come in here. And of course I'm in the way, even though... Am I really in the way? I guess I'm in the way. A little bit in the way. So we're gonna take this back up, we're gonna fill this semi up. And then we should be able to get the rest of this combine in to this load. Alright, so this semi is full and this combine over here has uh, apparently run into some difficulties. Let's go over here and see if we can help him out and get him out of these trees. And it looks like we've got about one round left here, so we're almost there. I am excited to wrap this uh, harvest up and see how we've done. Since we are at 91%, I think I'm going to go ahead and just unload some of this real quick. 
and then we'll finish up the last bits here on our own. I do wish that these combines unloaded just a smidge faster. Like, maybe even just like 10% faster. I don't know. This is probably a realistic speed. I guess I don't really remember. I'm trying to remember. We, when I, back when I was farming, we had much older equipment, so everything took forever. Alright. Uh, let's just finish. We're here. Do, do, do. Alright, now we're empty. Let's go ahead and we're just going to grab this next row over. Cut around the trees and finish up, I think. I have no idea how many bushels we're going to be at total. That is what I'm most curious about. Oh, we missed some. Go ahead and lift our header here. We'll put it back down. That was completely pointless. Didn't exactly cut straight with the rows here, course play at a slight angle. Too late to square it up now, but I notice course play. And last pass of the season. can't believe we're going to get a third of a hopper here almost, uh, just from this little tiny bit that was left. It's impressive. Alright. So with that, we have... I still didn't get it after I backed up. You know what? We're done. So with that, we have uh, completed our, is this our second full harvest on this map? That is pretty impressive. I don't typically last quite so long with seasons uh, based gameplay. So we're doing pretty good here. Now the big question I have for everyone is as we relaunch on the new map, should we play with or without seasons? Um, there's going to be a couple of days delay here before I get back and start recording for the new map uh, setup. Um, and uh, so I'm curious to hear what you think. Uh, leave a comment below on uh, what your recommendation is. And I will take that into consideration as we get started here. I do know that there's currently a little bit of a problem with snow on uh, the new version of the map with Seasons. I'm sure I could get it figured out, but I'm just curious to hear what, uh, what people want to see. So we're going to just uh, get this corn unloaded here and get a final count on our total bushels. And I topped him off already, didn't I? I did. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. Send you back up to the farm. Start you up. Whoops. Send you back up to the bins. And then if I'm not mistaken, I've already got a truck sitting over the bins full of corn as well. So let's get you dumped into the bins. 
And since this is us just looking for our final count, we're going to dump them right into the main storage here. Because we do not, uh, we don't need to go through the whole process. You can unload. Hello. Oh wait, I think I hear it starting up. It's just extra slow. I hope that other semi doesn't crash into me since I'm manually controlling this truck. Ooh, there goes the grain cart. Zipping on by. Here comes the other semi. Can we get done and out of time and or get done and out of the way in time? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna stop. Look at him. That's so nice of you. And we'll just drive this guy back around over onto this side. Even though I think technically this is the wrong way. And then we'll jump in here and start unloading. I think that our bin is going to be about done. Our auger timer is almost up. Yeah, maybe not. Might as well get that side going too. Yeah, there we go. That did not finish unloading, I don't think. Um, but the lights are still on. Maybe it did. Nope. Nope. Alright. Start you back up. There we go. Waiting. Oh, and we need to unload the grain cart as well. We cannot forget. There's a good 900 bushels in here. And so I should be able to just do the same thing here. Run right into the semi truck. And dump some more corn. Hope that our timer doesn't run out. Go, go, go. I love that the truck is faster than the uh, auger wagon. All right, and we're gonna get it. Are we gonna beat it? We beat the timer. We're all unloaded. All right, our final bushel count for corn is over ten thousand. Uh, we need to. Run some more corn out of our grain dryer. Oh, come on. Oh, we're stuck in the semi. Whoops. It's a good thing we're moving on. Where all this equipment's going to get replaced. The insurance company will never know. All right, dryer. You coming on, dryer? There's the dryer. Well, there's the corn getting moved out of the dryer. Or into the dryer, I should say. It's uh, cranking away here. We'll give it just a minute. And our final grain count is 10,878 bushels of corn and 9,517 bushels of soybeans. Awesomeness. So with that, we have wrapped up our harvest for the year. Just checking back out on our big map. Everything appears to be harvested. And so next episode, we will be getting set up on the new version of the map and seeing how that goes. Well, that's all for today. Keterk, out. <laughs>